Hello, my name's Julianne Ovenden and I'm a freelance conservator working with museums in the east of England. I'm going to demonstrate the use of thermohydrographs for monitoring the relative humidity and temperature in museum stores and display areas. There are three different types, all of which will record the temperature and relative humidity from anything to one day, one week to one month. This is a clockwork version. These two are battery powered, an older version and a newer model. Whichever you use, remember to read the instructions first. I'm going to focus on this model, which is the one that's mostly found in museums. A thermohygrograph measures the relative humidity and temperature by plotting it on a graph. This is useful to take spot measurements or an overall environmental view of your space. This model works by turning it on using one of these buttons, whether you want to set it for a day, a week or a month. You can see it's on by the flashing light. It works by the two pens moving on the graph. There is a biometal strip in this cage that reacts to the temperature and some hair that reacts to the moisture content and therefore gives a relative humidity. The temperature is measured in Celsius and the relative humidity is as a percentage of the moisture in the air. You will need to change the graph paper periodically depending on how you set up the machine. Firstly you need to remove the lid. There's a little button on top that you press and then slide. Next, unscrew at the top of the drum. Then move the pens out the way. This is really important so you don't mess up your graph. Then lift off the drum. Take the graph off by removing this clip. Then you have your full graph. When you replace the graph, make sure you use one that's the right height and right time scale for your machine. Wrap the graph round the drum, ensuring to overlap paper so the pens won't catch it when they go full circle. Then put the clip back on. Replace the drum onto your machine. Turn it round so it aligns with the pens at the start date. Screw the top back on and move the pens back to the paper. Then replace your case. You also may need to calibrate your machine. We do this because there's no point in recording data if it's wrong. Periodically, you'll need to check that the readings are an accurate reflection of what's happening in the space. To do this, you'll need another environmental monitor that itself has been calibrated. This is an example. If your museum doesn't have one, your local museum service may be able to help you with this. Firstly, you check the relative humidity. On this monitor, I hold and press the button. Then I compare the relative humidity from this monitor to what my thermohydrograph is showing and move the pens just by touching them if I need to. I repeat this for temperature. Key points. Use the thermohydrograph to monitor the environment in your space. Remember to check the pens, graphs 
and power source regularly and replace them if necessary. Calibrate your machine once a year. More information on environmental monitoring and thermohygrographs can be found online.